Hey guys! Today I really want to talk about clothes. We are less than 24 hours away from my trip to Tokyo and clothes is usually the last thing that I pack um, usually because I'm doing laundry in the last minute and it's also kind of a week-long process to determine what are the bare essentials that I can travel with. Um, now I'm five foot eight um, five foot seven and a half and I'm 161 pounds so I'm a large in a lot of Western sizes um, which means I'm gonna be an extra large in a lot of Asian sizes and the reality of the situation is is that a lot of Japanese brands do not carry clothes in my size um, in addition to that I I just you know don't like wearing things that are super tight on me so while I could fit into a medium I prefer a large because then I could um, tailor it down for my body type. So I'm going to show you guys my bare essentials for what I'm bringing to Tokyo and why I'm only picking these pieces and, and really the main reason is that there's Uniqlo's there and there's other stores that are more western friendly and when we were in, to in Tokyo and Hong Kong just a couple of months ago, I brought tons of clothes back. And the clothes that I did bring with me, I didn't end up wearing because I just bought a bunch of clothes. So I hope that this is helpful for you um, in, in just seeing what I'm preparing to bring with me. So the main strategy is that I'm going to basically carry only basics with me, basically carrying basics. And I... I don't want duplicates of anything, with the exception of one thing, and I'll show you what that is in just a little bit. So first things first, I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear to the airport. You ready? Let's do this. So I'm going to bring my Uniqlo jeggings. Um, they're black. They're really comfortable. Um, and then I'm going to wear my black t-shirt from Cotton On. Now, the reason why I picked this outfit is, again, I like things that are a little bit looser fitting. Um, these jeggings are actually large, and they fit large on me. So I'm bringing with me a belt that um, is from Madewell. I love this belt. Um, I really love the detailing on it, and I really love... Um, the like locking part of it as well. It's really, really handsome. It's really good for um, for like stuff that goes over your hip and also stuff that goes on your natural waist, which um, I could belt for my dresses and my skirts, which I'll show you in a little bit. So yeah, really simple basic outfit. And if it gets dirty while I'm traveling, no one's gonna see it. It's loose. Um, I could layer stuff on top of that. So this is kind of my main go-to for my trip over into Japan. Next is another basic, and this is a basic that I bought in um, Uniqlo while I was in Asia. It's a simple navy jacket. It hits at about the knee for me. It's very, um, very flattering for my body type because I'm a curvier girl and I like things cinched at the waist. So I can pair this with a t-shirt. I can pair it with a button-up. I can pair it with a cardigan. It's really versatile. It's a simple basic, and I plan on wearing this several times while I'm there. And um, it also keeps me warm. I know it's going to be a little bit colder um, than it is here in LA. It's actually almost 90 today here in Burbank. But in Tokyo, it's closer to 60-something. So I need to be sure that I'm packing for the weather that's there and not the weather that's here because it's practically it's Coachella weekend and it's, it's hot. So, so yeah, um, so this is another basic that I'm going to be wearing. Now, I'm going to show you guys two more basics that I'm bringing with me. For tops so actually this is there's three tops that I'm bringing with me that are like pull over your head you guys already saw the black t-shirt this is a simple um, boat not boat neck but it's like a wider necked um, striped shirt it's a little bit lighter too so if I need a layer I can and this one is from H&M and then this one is a plain white tee from Madewell and I just picked it up. The Madewell one is really nice because it's, again, it's light. It's not overly see-through. And um, for me, one of the biggest concerns is the neckline. Um, now, in Japan, the chest area is considered to be a lot more um, erotic. 
than the legs. Um, it's kind of a little bit differently here in America um, where we show everything and nobody really cares. But yeah, girls in LA, you know, they'll show their bare midriff and their boobs and their legs and nobody thinks anything of it. Japan's not necessarily the same way. And I'm already going to get stared a lot as a foreigner and as a gaijin, so I would rather minimize that as much as possible by not wearing something super over, overly provocative. Now again, this is a personal choice, this is just for me, um, and I actually plan on layering it because I think that wearing just this t-shirt alone is going to be a little too cold for me. But that's okay, I, I love it, it's really light, I highly recommend it, and it's pretty affordable for Madewell, they have tons of different different colors, so I'm really excited to wear this shirt, it's, it's super versatile and it's going to be great. <laughs> Oops. You didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Now, another basic that I'm bringing with me, I don't know if you want to call this a basic, but I consider it a basic, and that is this dress from Madewell. It's a simple, um, thick cotton dress. It's navy. It looks a little black in the video, but it is navy. And I'm bringing with me um, my costume jewelry from J. Crew. It's the, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like one of the classic statement pieces that they have with the earrings. And the thing that I love the most about this dress is that I can dress it up and I can make it basically a cocktail dress. I can go out to dinner at a Michelin star restaurant in this. Or I can dress it down and I could throw a chambray over it. I can throw on a little scarf and wear it with, um, you know, like a jacket and, and sneakers and, it's, and it'll look cute as well. I could probably layer that other skirt on top of it if it's too chilly because this is a little bit more form fitting. So this is a must have for me, a nice, simple, clean, elegant dress that I can dress up and dress down and a nice piece of jewelry so that if we do end up going to a restaurant, I can dress up and not feel like I really have to like wear a cocktail dress. So I mentioned wearing a chambray. Chambray is in. It's been pretty popular lately. This one is from Uniqlo. It's also buttoned um, out of line, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't normally button my stuff like that, but I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I really love this chambray. It's relatively light. Um, I really like it for layering. I could wear it under a jacket with a t-shirt and that'll be plenty of warmth for me. Um, it's pretty well fitting. I really like the side paneling as well. And um, I really like this little detail with like the little pocket. So yeah, it's just another nice little like layering element. Again, it's gonna be spring in Tokyo. The weather can get really warm. It can get a little cold, it's gonna rain. So I wanna be sure that everything that I have is versatile. Um, you'll notice I'm basically bringing only black, white, and blue. Those are colors that are very flattering to me and they um, compare very well with any other color. So say I get a hot pink, t-shirt from uh, Six Doki Doki, then great, it'll pair really well with this, and then I won't have to worry about like bringing four or five button-up shirts when I have just one classic basic. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we're already at the end, guys. Are you excited? Last but not least is this cardigan that I also got in Tokyo from Uniqlo. And it is, a sh it's a, what am I trying to say? It's a cashmere cardigan and it's quite warm. It's also pretty light. It fits on me very, very well. I highly recommend Uniqlo's cashmere. They tend to sell them, they start to sell them somewhere around fall and winter and it's a really good deal. I think I got this one for like 40 or 50 bucks and it's 100% cashmere. That's amazing. So highly recommend it. Um, again, I could layer it with my other clothes. I could wear it on top of the shirt and the chambray and, and the dress with the skirt. It's super comfortable um, and really versatile. It's actually one of my favorite pieces to wear here at home. I could wear it in the summertime and not feel like I'm gonna die from heat exhaustion. And I could also wear it in the winter time and not be freezing my bum off. So that's really, really nice. So yeah, I highly recommend um, getting a cardigan that's just easy, layerable, and um, can also provide you pr 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 uh, protection from the cold as well. So you guys are probably 
thinking, oh my gosh, you're bringing practically nothing with you. And the answer is yes. Obviously, I'm bringing underwear, I'm bringing bras, I'm bringing only two bras, a nude and a black. I can buy more bras at Uniqlo. I can buy more underwear at Uniqlo. I can go to almost any combini, like a 7, 11, or whatever, and they're going to have underwear there. So I'm not worried about running out of um, really like options, as long as all of my clothes are, are like interchangeable, which I think is definitely the case for the wardrobe that I picked out. And then since I really love to have a little bit of fun or playfulness and like little, um, little fun, charming things to my outfits, there are two more things that I'm bringing with me to give a little bit of variance to my outfits. And that is, do do do, enamel pins is the first one. Now, these are both a gift from my husband. I love Rila Kuma, and he got me a gloomy Kuma, which is super, super amazing. And he also got me this really cute pin, and it just reminds me of home, and I get homesick really easily, so I'm really excited to wear these. Um, I know that you can probably buy like other accessories while we're there, like little brooches and stuff, so things like this are definitely going to help um, on a blouse or a t-shirt, just to kind of give my outfit a little bit of variance. And then the other thing that I'm going to be bringing with me is a scarf. This is a silk scarf that I got from Maison Kitsune, and it's a nice good length, so I could wear it around my head, like so, and I can put it around my neck, I could put it on my wrist, I could, you know, put it on my bag. It's so versatile, and it adds just a little bit more of that pow and a little bit more of that pop. This is a little bit more like a navy gray, like a seawater, navy gray, navy green, like a seawater, Santa Monica Pier sort of ocean water look um, kind of color with the white and it's got a really subtle, beautiful texture to it, um, pattern rather, not texture. And again, like I'm really, I'm really just looking to buy more stuff while I'm there. I don't want to overwhelm myself and I also want to give myself the versatility to wear something a little bit different every day. So yeah, Guys, I'm so excited, and I promise you I'm going to be taking videos of everything and of all the cool things that I'm going to be buying. Um, for those of you that are out there that are also, you know, a larger girl like I am, um, and you're traveling to Japan, I highly recommend Uniqlo. Again, like, I can't, I can't praise Uniqlo enough. If you really feel like everything that you've looked at in Tokyo is just not fitting you right, check out a store like Uniqlo. Like, obviously they have H&M, obviously they have Topshop, but Uniqlo is a Japanese brand with a Japanese aesthetic. The clothing is really high quality. It's going to be super cheap considering that you're paying for it tax-free if you're a foreigner and you have your passport. Bring your passport with you when you go shopping. Otherwise, you can't claim um, duty-free or tax-free stuff. And the sizing is a lot more forgiving. If you go into a little Japanese boutique, like, for example, we went into Maison Kitsune, I couldn't buy anything. I couldn't even try any of the clothes on because it's a designer brand, it's a small boutique shop, it's not really made for foreigners, it's made for people that love designer clothing in Japan. And it it wasn't even in like a really well-known area for like shopping too. So again, if you're concerned, do a little bit of research ahead of time. Maybe check out some of the other beauty bloggers in Japan. Some of the other lifestyle bloggers in Japan, like Charlotte in Japan and Rachel in June, are really so helpful, and I, I love all of their advice. So, yeah, don't be shy. Try stuff on, and and trust yourself. You're just gonna buy more stuff when you're there. So don't feel like you have to like haul a bunch of stuff with you, because I made that mistake last time. You don't need as many clothes as you think. Pack your clothes, unpack them, get rid of half of it, pack them again, open it again, and get rid of half. And that's probably as much as you need, I promise. Okay, guys, this is probably my last video before I leave for Tokyo. Ah, so, so excited. Oh, one last thing. You'll notice that I didn't bring any loungewear with me. Now, the reason for that 
is because we're going to be staying at a ryokan. And a ryokan is basically like a Japanese inn. But the inn that we're staying at is in the city. It's a little bit more modern. It's like a Japanese artsy boutique inn. And most ryokan typically will provide you a yukata that you could wear around the space. So I typically will sleep in my yukata. I'll wear it around. I'll um, eat my breakfast downstairs in it if I don't feel like changing into my jeans. So that's that's why you'll notice I didn't pack like my yoga pants or anything like that because I just wear you the yukata around the real con. So yeah. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for watching, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to take you with me on this journey, and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>